Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Fourternia.com. I'm your host, AJ, and today we're doing an unboxing and a mini review of the Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revolution, San Diego Comic-Con 2023, and Mattel Creations exclusive Motherboard figure. Now, of course, this is the first time that Motherboard has ever appeared in Masterverse Plastic, and I couldn't be more excited. To be honest with you, this was a personal desire, a wish of mine to get this figure. Ever since November 2021, when Part 2 of Masters of the Universe Revelation dropped the Netflix animated series. And I wanted this figure so much that it was on my New Year's wish list for 2022. It was in an article in December 2021. I was counting down my wish list. And for my top figure, it was a motherboard figure. To be honest with you, I never thought it was going to happen based on the scale. You know, it was so much larger based on all of the other characters in Masters of the Universe Revelation. But here it is. And I'm so surprised because Mattel here has for the first time with Masterverse has entered the six scale market, you know, a market that's really only been dominated by Mondo and their license. Now I realize the motherboard isn't six scale based on the character in relation to the other characters, but this is the first time Masterverse is in that 12 inch market and it's really exciting and that's why i have these mondo uh, figures out here i have the mondo uh, revelation animation skeletor figure to the left and i have she-ra princess of power to the right and the skeletor ran i believe it was 220 dollars and the she-ra ran 250 dollars i think for the timed edition and then 230 for the basic edition but if you compare those price points to the revolution motherboard figure this one was only 65. You got 220, you got 250, $65. And I guess they could do it cheaper because especially, you know, they're not paying for a license because Masters of the Universe is Mattel's license. They don't have to pay for it like Mondo does. But it's really exciting because I believe Mattel is going to continue making 12 inch figures. I'm not sure it was somewhere during San Diego Comic Con 2023. It might have been Mattel's global brand manager, you know, Josh Graham. It might have been the interview with Pixel Dan, but I'm not sure. But someone had said that they're looking at doing, continuing to do these large figures. Now, who knows? It might be the Giants or something like that. But imagine if Mattel actually starts doing a, uh, a 12 inch Masterverse, you know, like six scale line. I'll be able to afford them all. You know, right now at these price points with uh, Mondo, I can only pick and choose. But imagine if Mattel starts doing them, if the license runs out for Mondo or, you know, or they can like release their own figures and they start doing a six scale line for $65 each. Oh, suddenly a lot of fans that have been priced out with these Mondo figures can start collecting six scale Masters of the Universe figures. And it will be really exciting if it happens. Will it happen? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. But enough talking about that. Let's take a closer look at this packaging. So here's the packaging for the Masters of the Universe Revolution Masterverse Motherboard. And the artwork is done by Joseph John Sakate. And this is the first time that you don't need me to tell you that because there's credits on the box. Look at that. I've been asking for this in a long time in my videos. And congratulations to Roy Mattel. He finally did it. You can see who the toy designer is, packaging designer, which is Roy, obviously. And look, right there is the artist, Joseph Sakade. So finally, we have credits on the Masterverse packaging. I think this is the first time it's happened and where everyone involved can go ahead and take a bow, which is just really, really cool. So good job, Roy, over at Mattel for making that happen. And here is this wonderful artwork by joseph john sakata you know it's that screech statue it's that screech gigantic idol that everyone was praying to and they had no idea that was really a manifestation of motherboard and you have screech there and then you have the wings on the side and the tail wings on both sides and the top here i mean look how fantastic this is and there he is screech lies you know at snake mountain and then the packaging opens up and it's such solid packaging too. Look at these doors and we have the motherboard figure, which I'm going to look in a second, but look at the artwork inside of this packaging. And let's see if I can remove this figure as well. So we can take, look at that. 
look at that. And this is like the exterior, you know, this is looking out of the mouth of Snake Mountain. And how fantastic is that, right? This is going to be a great diorama on your shelf if you want it to be. But uh, great job with the packaging. All right, so let's take a closer look at that figure. One more thing about the packaging before I get to the figure. If you take out this clear blister packaging out, which has this cool Masters of the Universe Revolution logo imprinted in it, if you take this out, underneath you have a clear display stand. Look at this. A display stand for your figure. And it's got all these great looking schematics on it. It's really, really cool. And then just look at that packaging. I mean, and look at this base. Look at this fantastic base. This is a $65 figure and the diorama is amazing. And this isn't cheap cardboard. This is thick. It's solid, stronger than a shoebox. It's absolutely brilliant. Good job, Attel. Good job, Roy. All right, now let's get to that figure. So here's the Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revolution motherboard out of the box. And one word, stunning. She looks glorious. You know, no wonder they worshipped her. I'm ready to worship her. Imagine putting this on your shelf. What a showpiece. This looks so stunning. I mean, look at the use of colors. First, the paint applications are so clean. I love this lavender and it's like turquoise use. And look at these wings. The wings, they're like airbrush. They almost look neon. They almost look unreal. I wonder if they look that way on video. Like, you know, it almost looks animation-like. It looks like stained glass. And it's such, it's so glorious looking. And same thing with the paint application on the soft goods. Look how it just like transcends from like a light violet purple blue to dark purple it just looks amazing and she stands you know what 12 inches tall right and 24 inches wide i mean this is going to look amazing on my shelf i'm ready to finish the review and just rave about it and i haven't even messed with the articulation look at those fingernails those fingernails are awesome look how long they are all right let's take a closer look at that head sculpt so here's a closer look at the motherboard head sculpt and look how fantastic she looks it's so well sculpted. It's so well painted. You know, uh, Masterverse has already been knocking out of the park with female head sculpts. It's really been the strength of the line. And this motherboard figure just reinforces it. And look at those paint apps. Look how clean those lines are on the face and around the lips. <sighs> It's such a great job with this ancient sorceress of technology. I love that she's called that. You know, we had uh, executive producer of Masters of the Universe Revelation and Revolution, Ted Biaselli, on the Four Eternia podcast recently. And he was going into that, you know, motherboard was lying in wait, you know, for the right moment to start infecting people with that technovirus on Eternia. And the right moment was Skeletor dying, right? With that uh, chess piece being taken off the chessboard. And uh, it was just, it's just so cool. Such a cool premise and such a cool head sculpt. Great job, Battelle. Ugh. So here's the rear view of Motherboard with her great wingspan again. And I like the colors on the outside here. And look at the soft goods. I mean, look how fantastic it looks. And the, this is not cheap soft goods, by the way. This is very well stitched. It's high quality material. And then look at this pattern here. And then look at the cables here, you know, it's like uh, rubber, it's like soft plastic. It reminds me of the, you know, I had a little stretch in my life where I was building PCs. That's what these cables remind me of. But, you know, it's, a, what, it's just a fantastic look. And then we have these connectors here. I believe um, in Masters of the Universe Revelation, cables were connected to these that uh, were attached to the Screech Idol. And as Motherboard, you know, dispatched from the Screech Idol, um, the cables disconnected. So, um Ah, looks great. I believe this wing set can come off, so let's take it off and take a closer look. So here's Motherboard's wings removed, and it just slides off her neck. Just, this is just like a collar, and it just slides right off her neck. You don't even have to remove Motherboard's head. I'm not even sure if you could remove her head, but it just comes right off her neck. And again, it's just a closer look at these wings. These wings are articulated. They're going to be so fun to, to pose. Ah, this is so good. And then here's the cables again. Like I said, it's soft plastic. And look at the soft goods cape. I mean, look at the colors ranging from you got pink all the way to, you know, light blue. And it just looks so 
airbrushed and it's so beautifully done and it's so high quality look at the stitching and again on the back here that pattern just looks gorgeous and this is just so well made you know i wonder if uh, motherboard is going to fly in masters of the universe revolution that'd be really cool to see mm. it's so well done oh, i love this so here is motherboard without her wings and her cape um, I don't know why you'd want to display her this way. I wonder if she's going to be able to remove herself from that in the animated series. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think I would ever display her this way, but, um, you know, she's going to have great articulation, I think, like most Masterverse figures. Yeah. Um, you know, what's interesting is I think Motherboard actually has black fingernails in the show, and these are purple. This feels like a ratchet. Wow, this is tight. Yeah. You know, Motherboard really stands well by herself. I haven't even used the base yet. I'm going to by the end of this video, but um, you have no problem standing her on her own. So she's got great balance. And uh, yeah, it looks like tight joints. Yeah, everything looks good. So in regards to accessories, Motherboard comes with this clear display stand, which I'll go over in a second. And other than that, Motherboard comes with these two grabbing hands. And I'm really not sure why Motherboard, you know, came with these grabbing hands. It's not like Motherboard came with an accessory that she could go ahead and grab onto. Unless she's supposed to grab onto, you know, her wings or something like that. Meaning, like, have you ever watched um, Captain America Civil War where you saw the superhero Falcon and he would go ahead and, like, use his uh, wings as, a, like, a shield, a protective shield. And perhaps Motherboard does that in Masters of the Universe Revolution. And then she, like, grabs on the side of the wing or that's what you're supposed to do in some sort of, like, protective stance. It's the only thing I could think of why you would use these hands, but you know what? I'm not really concerned about it. Um, the only thing I wish maybe Motherboard did come with in regards to accessories is maybe an alternate hand. Do you remember how she infects Skeletor? She has those long, you know, black fingernails that actually reached into uh, Skeletor's body and transmitted the Technovirus. It'd be really cool if there was an alternate hand with longer fingernails. You know what? I bet it's possible that if we get some black rubber tubing, we could do that ourselves. You know what? Let me uh, stop the camera real quick and get some tubing and let's see if we could do a quick customization. So this is by no means perfect. I just took some rubber casings out of my toolbox. It's meant to repair wires. You heat them up and they shrink. And I put them over the fingernails of motherboard. And uh, I think when there's a will, there's a way. I think uh, fans at home, if they're looking for that look of uh, motherboard, you know, infecting Skeletor with the Technovirus, that uh, they'll be able to customize that look rather easily without being a hardcore customizer. So what do I think of this Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revolution motherboard figure? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, I have found religion. I am now officially part of the motherboard cult because this figure is awesome. And I bow down and worship its greatness, just like uh, Triclops and Trapjaw. Look, this figure is fantastic. From the paint application, to the colors, to those articulated wings, to those brilliant soft goods, to the display stand, to this diorama, which is just amazing. This figure is just magnificent. And it's even more magnificent because look at its price point. I mean, I would be happy if this was a Mondo figure, me being a motherboard fan, but I'm not spending $250 for this. I spent $65 for this, which makes it even that much more magnificent. So if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, Masters of the Universe Revelation fan, and soon to be Revolution fan, do not let this exclusive figure pass you by. I think it's still available on Mattel Creations. I have no affiliation. I just love this figure. You're going to put it on your shelf. It's going to look even better in person. And people are going to walk by it and be like mesmerized by it. They're going to drop to their knees and then bow down and pray <laughs> into the motherboard. All right, that's a little... I'm going a little overboard, but I just really like this figure, and I think you will too. So that's it. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.